the demand of the Godhead. This, in short, is the demand made on us, that we should turn our whole life into a conscious sacrifice. Every moment and every movement of our being is to be resolved into a continuous and a devoted self-giving to the Eternal. All our actions, not less the smallest and most ordinary and trifling, than the greatest and most uncommon and noble, must be performed as consecrated acts. Our individualized nature must live in the single consciousness of an inner and outer movement dedicated to something that is beyond us and greater than our ego. No matter what the gift or to whom it is presented by us, there must be a consciousness in the act that we are presenting it to the one divine being in all beings. Our commonest or most grossly material actions must assume this sublimated character. When we eat, we should be conscious that we are giving our food to that presence in us. It must be a sacred offering in a temple, and the sense of a mere physical need or self-gratification must pass away from us. In any great labour, in any high discipline, in any difficult or noble enterprise, whether undertaken for ourselves, for others, or for the race, it will no longer be possible to stop short at the idea of the race, of ourselves, or of others. The thing we are doing must be consciously offered as a sacrifice of works, not to these, but either through them or directly to the one Godhead, the divine inhabitant, who was hidden by these figures, must be no longer hidden, but ever present to our soul, our mind, our sense. The workings and results of our acts must be put in the hands of that one, in the feeling that that presence is the infinite and most high, by whom alone our labour and our aspiration are possible. For in his being all takes place. For him all labour and aspiration are taken from us by nature and offered on his altar. Even in those things in which nature is herself very plainly the worker and we only the witnesses of her working and its containers and supporters, there should be the same constant memory and insistent consciousness of a work and of its divine master. Our very inspiration and respiration, our very heartbeats can and must be made conscious in us as the living rhythm of the universal sacrifice. Om Satyam Jnanam Jyotir Aravinda Om 
Om Satyam Yanam 